if you feel that you're called to do this and this is your purpose and this is your destiny, if you're doing anything else and your days go by without studying, it's like God is whispering to you, you know what you got to do and you're ignoring his call. And then imagine, imagine like the, in the Bible, you have the prophets and God calls on them to, uh, to do a certain task. Maybe the task is to warn people about things they're doing wrong, right? And those prophets are ignoring for a while and God gives them hints and those hints become increasingly severe, right? because they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And so imagine if years go by and you haven't achieved your goals, you're going to know that. And that's going to be on you. I mean, I think that, you know, for someone who's religious, you know, if you truly believe in God, that's kind of a terrifying thought because that means that you're actually accountable to be doing these things that you know you should be doing. Religiosity has a certain value and a certain power to it because it can act as a motivation in, in these ways. And so there are all sorts of motivational techniques. There are apps to help you focus. There are things that will shut down social media for you. And you can do all of those tools and tactical things. But I think this mindset is even more powerful. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.